Faith, you know we've been talking about it, that rain spared us, we have a nice hard walk, but what's in yeah. store for Sunday? Right, yeah, a beautiful Sunday is really going to be ahead, but you know, the lower rain chances does mean a little bit warmer on the temperature is going to get into that in just a minute, but at least it's not going to stick around for too, too long, I guess, sort of say. Um, we do have a cold front coming up this week too, so that'll kind of also help to drop temperatures for us coming ahead to start our first full week of October here in the coastal bend, but just want to compare and look at our temperatures today. Once again, we did see a few showers in our area, and that was kind of one of the reasons why you see precipitation kind of zero here in Corpus Christi. A lot of that rain did stick for our friends more so in the southern area. So Kingsville, you guys got a little bit of a better shot at that rain, whereas here in Corpus Christi, it was a little bit more drier. But that's what helped to see those temperatures sit at the low 90s. 91 is what we saw at the airport today, a low of 77 to start our morning low temperatures off. Really, as you continue throughout the day, temperatures right now at 81 degrees, dew point at 76, so it's still going to be a humid night if you do have any plans. But besides that, that's going to be the big case here for us. Winds are also pretty calm out of the east at 10 miles per hour. And once again, like I mentioned, cold front is on the way, but we're going to start to see dew point value start to drop ahead and before that, starting to get a little bit closer in those mid 60s range by Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. It's going to feel just nice. We're talking about mid 50s on the dew point, especially Wednesday morning, so it's going to feel just nice and that's going to carry on with us in into the end of the week and into next weekend as well. Here's a look at some of the reason why and the timing of that front once it comes in. Looking at that front kind of sitting just up to the North Texas area as of Monday, that front finally starts to push on through for us by Tuesday morning, but either way, it's going to bring some drier air here for us and that's going to be Milton right there. That's one of the reasons why we're not going to see that here in the coastal bend. This frontal boundary is kind of helping to keep us a little bit safe from more of that tropical moisture. Our best chance of seeing that tropical moisture with Milton was overnight yesterday and then to this morning to start our Saturday morning off. But once again, as I mentioned, that's going to be the big story is that cold front pushing on through South Texas to bring us some more northly winds and really help things to feel nice and cool as well as some upper level high pressure as well. That's kind of acting as a magnet and that's going to allow that low pressure to sneak right on through there. So that's another reason why we're not anticipating any direct impacts from Milton here in the coastal bend. Waking up tomorrow morning as you're heading off to church, mid 70s on the board, 74 expected here in Corpus Christi. Afternoon high temperatures once again pretty similar. Talking about low 90s to continue in, into the new week. But as I mentioned, I'm more so excited about that cold front moving in Wednesday and Thursday morning and even Friday. Those will be a more of the cooler mornings on the board. I'm definitely going to bring the sweater back out. It's not like I put it away at all, but more so talking about mid 60s, 65 Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Those north winds really stick with us day by day. And as you can see as well, lots of sunshine too. So that's one thing I'm excited about. Lexus, I know we had a few clouds to start the day off today, but really we're going to have beautiful sunny skies, north winds, lower dew point. It's going to be a, a beautiful, comfortable week ahead. Well, take it. Thank you so much, Faith.